Many travelers decide to live and retire permanently in Thailand, but why is this? There are many reasons why expats decide to move to Thailand. This includes the beautiful weather and the stunning scenery. This leads us on to today's question of what is it like to be a single man living in Thailand? Fundamentally, two of the most significant categories that are spoken about are the overall cost of living in Thailand and the dating scene, and therefore we will be exploring these two categories from a single man's point of view. In general, the cost of living in Thailand is extremely cost effective. Of course, if you are not a single man and you are in a relationship, you will be able to save some cash each month from sharing accommodation, but this is often a minimal amount. The real benefit as a single man living in Thailand in terms of living expenses is that you only need to pay for yourself. It is understandable to forget just how big Thailand is. There are many places where expats can live for under six to seven hundred dollars each month. The low cost areas of Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai are increasingly popular, but some smaller areas outside of the city can lower the prices even more. The average wage in Northern Thailand is around six hundred dollars, but due to COVID-19, some data suggests this is close to four to five hundred dollars. Many local Thais can live on this budget in the North, but naturally, some locals are restricted due to this low amount. So we know that it is possible to live in Northern Thailand for this low amount, but this would impact one's lifestyle. As an estimate, as a single man living in Thailand, you would need at least 1,000 US dollars a month. This amount is for areas outside of the North, but if you are situated in Phuket or Bangkok, then a single man would need at least $1,200 or more, but this often only includes the basic living expenses and does not include any extras, such as sending money back home, Netflix subscription, etc. Therefore, it's often wise to add a few hundred dollars on top of what you think you will need if you're planning to move to Thailand. Dating in society has changed, and this also includes Thailand. Tinder and other popular dating applications are booming in Thailand. I've attached a link to a full article about dating in Thailand for those who are looking for more information. But as you can imagine, there are many different stories and tales about dating in Thailand as a single man. And as somebody who has had the opportunity to speak with both locals and expats, I will share the word on the street. First, let's take a look at the perspective of a Thai woman. Many Thai women are interested in foreigners for love or fun or both. In preparation for this video, I asked a few close friends of mine who are single Thais and asked them why they prefer foreigners. Most said preference, but upon digging deeper, some would say that the local men are not good and that they often cheat and therefore they prefer foreigners who they see as being more loyal. I would add that this is a generalization, but this is what they mentioned. I would also add that many locals see foreign partners as being very kind. For example, in Thai society, if a woman is slightly overweight, she can be seen as fat, but in the West, she can be seen as slim or average. Another example is that some Thai women see themselves as being very old even if they're only in their 30s or 40s, but in reality they still look very youthful. Thus, due to our cultural upbringing and other factors, foreigners may come across as being kinder and gentler, but this is in general. Often the stories and tales come from expats who have dated locals and have found themselves in a slight situation. It's also important to add that many expats have a happy long-term relationship with Thai locals, but finding the right one is often the challenging part. In the beginning stages of dating in Thailand, you will often come across many red or green flags. From investigation, many of the problems in these relationships are due to one party failing to see the early red flags. As an example, I have a good friend who is in his late 60s and is from the US. He was dating a beautiful Thai woman who was in her early 40s, but he found that she would often take small items from the stores without paying for them, and later boast about the theft. He later returned these items to the store, apologized, and gave them a tip. 
but his partner's thieving continued. Over this 10 month relationship, she stole many things from his house, including valuable jewelry and even cash. Luckily, however, he managed to get all of his items back, but he could have saved himself from a lot of misfortune by paying attention to the early warning signs. This is not a typical example, but if you are entering into a relationship, it's always important to pay attention to those early signs. If you have any stories of your own, please feel free to add them into the comments below.